Hello, in the video coming up I'll show you you can move your mouse cursor on your Chromebook without using the touchpad, just with your eyes. Okay, so I've been looking at the different settings on the Chromebook and there are quite a lot of new settings. Now, a few years ago, you would have thought this was something that you'd only really see on tech news or something like that. But this is really good and it is for people with accessibility issues. So that's who it's aimed at, but anyone can have a go because it's quite good fun. It does take a while to get used to, but it's amazing how it, how it works. Now, it will also depend obviously on the webcam that you're using. I'm using the built-in webcam on my can't remember what this one is it's the asus but i can't remember what model it is but if you've got a good webcam it should work better or if you're using an external webcam it should work even better than that but i'll show you how you can use it so from here what you need to do is to go to your settings down here click on settings down the bottom right there and then from there if you click on accessibility and from there go to cursor and touchpad and then you'll see here face control use head movements and facial expressions to control your chromebook so we'll have to make some strange facial expressions in this video just to show you how it works okay so just click on there like that and here at the top you've got face control which is off turn that to on and then from here, I'll turn it off actually, no, I'll leave it on. And then from here, use head movements to control the mouse cursor, that's on. And then here, adjust speed separately for each direction. So you can either, you've got cursor speed there, so you can just adjust it, and it will adjust it for all directions. Or if you've got an issue where you, you do have um, a problem where you turn your head to the right, slow more slower than to the left then you can click there and you can slow it down here so if you can go to the left okay but to the right it's it's slower you'd maybe want to put it up to fast like that but you can have a you can have a mess around with them do what you like but what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it off that one there so this is just for all directions and i'm going to slow that down a bit to there and then cursor stability, you can keep the cursor stable if you have slight head movements. This requires more effort to move the cursor. So again, that will be responsive. So I'll show you now actually. So as you can see, all I'm doing is moving my head and the cursor is moving from left to right, moving up, moving down. So that's responsive. If you move it to stable here, that feels to me easier. So I would go through and change the settings to whatever you want it to be. So there it seems a bit too quick. It just depends really what you want. Whereas if you put it here, it's a bit slower. And cursor acceleration, big head movements will move the cursor further. So if you don't want that, you can turn that off like that. And then if I move, move quickly to the right, shouldn't make it work doesn't that didn't seem to work still went quick but if you turn it on then it will go much quicker so from there and like that you can see it goes much quicker so it's actually following me around like that and then you've got precision click when you perform a gesture to click the mouse speed will decrease to provide more control again you can turn that on or off and then you've got reduce mouse speed by you've got this option here and you've also got a reset button down there, which will then reset it to the standard. So the reset mouse by, uh, reduced mouse speed, sorry, if we'd say about 75%, then that's much slower. So that might be too slow for some people, too fast for others. And the one thing I did realize, because I'm doing the video, I can't get right close up to my laptop. So you would have to be closer to your laptop, but you do need to be a bit close to the laptop. So I'll show you now how it works in, practice is a bit fiddly but like I says if you did need to use your Chromebook and you couldn't use your hands for whatever reason and you're using speech to text so you're using speech to text to type stuff and then this to move the cursor it's useful so if we go to here again it's down to how your mouse as you can see right what I'm going to do I'm going to leave that window open I'm going to open up this Chrome browser down here 
And if I do a facial expression, it'll open it like that. And then as you can see, if we go to one of these here, let's go to this one here, of a facial expression when you're on the link. And there you go, you can see as you can move around like that. So it's quite useful in that way. Um, I just think it's it could be, if you need it for seriously, then it's great. But even if you don't, it's just a bit of fun just to have a mess around to see how you can use it. And like I said, this a few years ago would be something you'd be, when you hear people can control the mouse just by thinking, that's obviously great and fantastic. But this is a step in that direction now available on the Chromebook. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.